Sure. Mr. Speaker, earlier this month, over 400 climate scientists and scholars co-signed a letter calling on the federal government to step back from its plan to introduce another fossil fuel subsidy, a new tax credit for carbon capture and storage. As stated in their letter, despite decades of research, carbon capture is neither economically sound nor proven at scale. This proposal would only divert resources away from proven and cost-effective solutions like renewable energy and electrification. Can the minister confirm they will listen to scientists and scrap this proposed new subsidy? The Honourable Minister. The Honourable Minister of the Environment. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and thank you to my honourable colleague for his question. We have to look at every possible technologies that will help us reduce greenhouse gas, and in fact, when it comes to carbon capture and storage, the IPCC itself produced a report a few years ago looking at this very technology, saying that we might have to do it because we won't be able to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions fast enough to prevent 1.5 degrees Celsius of global warming, Mr. Speaker. Thank you very much.